Hi, I'm Rob Gove from Squire's Kitchen in Farnham. I'm going to show you a simple dessert recipe that you can do at home. I'm going to show you how to make a very simple white chocolate sauce. This recipe is dead simple. All you need is 250 grams of decent quality white chocolate and 250 grams of double cream. And we're going to take the white chocolate and put it into a bowl over a saucepan of simmering water and just gently warm that to melt the chocolate. We're going to heat the chocolate over the water. This is important because if you put it straight into a saucepan, there's a chance that you might, it might catch and burn. Um, and it also allows you to melt the chocolate gradually, which, is, which helps with the sauce to keep it nice and smooth once it's made. You just want the water to simmer, so it's just sort of releasing enough heat just to melt the chocolate. Okay, our chocolate's melted. I'm going to take our double cream. Pour it in. And then give that a stir as well. Okay, now that all of the white chocolate and cream is incorporated, you've got a nice, smooth, warm white chocolate sauce, which you can use for any number of purposes that you would choose. You can pour it over ice cream or have it with another dessert. One idea I am going to show you today is just what you can do with any berries that you might have left over that you've frozen down. So here I've got a selection of different summer be um, berries, some blackberries, raspberries, strawberries and blueberries that I've frozen down because I didn't have a use for them at the time. And what you do as a dinner party dessert, this is um, famously originated in the Ivy restaurant in London, is you build the frozen berries into a bowl, like so. And take our hot white chocolate sauce and fill it up in the jug. That's it. And then your guests would have this at the table and they just pour the hot chocolate sauce over the berries. That's how to make a white chocolate sauce.